Welcome to week 4, quarter 2 in Mathematics 4. So our topic for this week, changing improper fraction to mixed number and vice versa, and changing fraction to its lowest term. So that is our topic. We are going to change the improper fraction into mixed number and also mixed number 2, improper fraction. And we are going to find the lowest term of a fraction okay so what is fraction a fraction is an ordered pair of whole numbers the first one is usually written on top of the other such as one half or three fourths so siguro naman alam na natin kung ano yung fraction at kung paano siya sino sulat okay so we have here a over b a is a numerator and B is denominator. So, yung number na nasa taas or sa top, we can call that as numerator and yung number na nasa baba, that is denominator. Okay? So, the numerator tell us how many such pieces are being considered. Okay? Or, ang numerator, ito yung kung ilan yung shade natin. Say, for example, meron tayong bilog na apat. Okay, yung shade natin doon, that is numerator, and then the denominator tell us how many congruent pieces the whole is divided into, thus this number cannot be zero. Kung ilang hati nyo naman, hinati yung bilog. So that is denominator. So I will give more example about the fraction. Okay, let's say we have that. So we have... One circle, hinati natin. So, isang hati or dalawang hati that is or and one shade that is one half. Correct? Then we have here three. We divided three. So, meaning the denominator is three and one shaded. So, we have one third. Okay? And then we have divided it four divided it to 4 so we have what this fraction is that we have 1 fourth okay and then next ilang hati ito let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so since 8 yung hati that is our denominator right and then how many shade so we have 3 so what is the fraction we have 3 over 8 and then last Ilang hati kaya ito? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay? 12 na division or 12 na hati. Then, how many shades? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have 5 over 12. So, those are the example of a fraction. Okay, so ano naman yung tinatawag na proper fraction? A proper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is less than the denominator. So as you can see, this are the example. Mas mababa ang numerator kesa denominator. Okay, so that is a proper fraction. Kaya nga sinabing proper. Okay, so we have two-third, three-fifth. 5, 8, 2, 6. So, lahat ng numerator ay mababa kesa denominator. Mas mataas ang denominator. So, we can call that as proper fraction. Then next, improper fraction. Ano naman ito? A fraction whose numerator is greater than the denominator. So, kabaliktara ni proper fraction. Meaning, the numerator is greater than mataas ang number ng numerator kesa denominator. So, these are the example. We have 4 third, 5 fourth, 7 over 5, and 12 over 10. So, those are the example of improper fraction. And the next, mixed number. What is mixed number? So, kailangan natin munang malaman kung ano yung proper fraction improper fraction at mixed number bago tayo pumunta doon sa changing improper fraction 
to mixed number and vice versa. So, ano naman tong mixed fraction or mixed number? A fraction which is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. Okay, so meaning, ang mixed number, there is a whole number. And a combination of a proper fraction. So, these are the example we have. 6 and 2 third, 2 and 1 fourth, 3 and 2 fifth, 8 and 8 over 10. So, those are mixed number. Okay? May whole number sila, as well, may proper fraction sila. So, we can call that as a mixed number. Lowest term. Ano naman yung lowest term na tinatawag? A fraction is said to be in the lowest term if it is numerator and denominator are relatively prime. Okay? So, they have no common factors other than one and themselves. So, um, say for example, we have a fraction. Kukunin natin yung lowest term. So, paano ba natin makukuha yung lowest term? So, mamaya, meron tayong um, separate na discussion about the lowest term. So, may I have first the example. Okay? So, let's say we have 2 over 6. So, yung 2 over 6, meron pa siyang lowest term. Okay? So, sinabi dito, um, it is relatively a prime. Okay? So, since 2 is already a prime number, then 6 is a, um, what do you call this, composite number. So, pwede pa siya. So, you're going to think, Okay? A number na pwede nyo i-divide kay 2 at pwede nyo rin i-divide kay 6. Or multiple kay 2, multiple kay 6. So, we have 2, right? So, 2 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2. So, we have 1 over 3. So, the lowest term of 2 over 6 is 1 third. Okay? And then, next, we have 8 over 10. So, again, you're going to think a number na pwedeng i-divide kay 8 at pwedeng i-divide kay 10. O kaya naman, tawag doon ay GCF. So, you're going to find first the GCF of a two numbers or a numerator and a denominator. So, iisip kayo, ano yung pwedeng i-divide kay 8 at ano yung pwedeng i-divide kay 10. So, Let's say we have 2, okay? So, pwedeng i-divide si 2 kay 8 and also si 2 kay 10. So, 8 divide 2 is 4, okay? Then, 10 divide 2 is 5. So, the lowest term of 8 over 10 is 4 fifth. So, hindi na natin siya pwedeng i-divide pa kasi wala na siyang possible na multiple or or GCF ang 4 and 5. So, this is the lowest term of 8 over 10. So, that is the lowest term. Okay, let us go to our uh, topic, changing improper fraction into mixed numbers. So, paano ba tayo mag-change ng improper fraction into mixed number? Okay, so let us have this example. This example is in your module. So, mother baked a cassava cakes for her visitors. She asked Maria to slice the cake into eight. When Maria had sliced the cake, she noticed that she made 23 over eight slices of cakes. So, how many whole cakes and slices will be served to be or to the visitors? So, dito sa problem solving na ito, the question is how many whole cakes? So, meaning, pag sinabing how many whole cakes, kukunin natin yung buo or whole numbers ng 23 over 8 and slices will be served to the visitors at kung ano pa. So, meaning we are going to find the mixed number. Okay? Kasi may whole cakes dito. So, meaning merong sagot na whole numbers. Okay? So, paano kaya natin makuha or ma-change ang 23 over 8 into a mixed number? 
Okay, let us have first this first solution. Okay, tinatawag nating drawing regions. Ibig sabihin, gagamit tayo ng drawing to find the mixed number of 23 and 8. Okay, or 23 over 8. So since our denominator is 8, meaning ang um, isang uh, whole na cake, hahatiin natin into 8. Okay? So, walo-walo dapat ang hati. So, meron na tayo ditong walong hati. Unang walong hati. So, dapat maka 23 over 8 tayo. So, let's say, okay, 1 over 8, 2 over 8, 3 over 8, 4 over 8, 5 over 8, 6 over 8, 7 over 8, or 8 over 8. 8. So, walo na siya. 8 over 8 siya. Kasi lahat natin sila sinidan at walong ano rin po siya. Walong uh, slides or walong slice. Okay? So, 8 over 8 meaning that is one whole. Okay? Isang buo yan. Kasi 8 divided by 8 is 1. Okay? Then, 8 over 8 pa lang tayo. Dapat maka 23 over 8 tayo. So, another 8 Okay? Okay. So, meron na naman tayong walong hati. Okay? Gagawa tayo ng cake hanggang makaabot tayo ng 23. So, we have, nakatapos na tayo ng 8 dito. So, next, 9 over 8, 10 over 8, 11 over 8, 12 over 8, 13 over 8, 14 over 8, 15 over 8, and 19 over 8. Okay? I mean, 16 over 8. Okay? So, again, meron atayo ditong walong hati at nakashade siya ng walo din. So, meaning 8 over 8 again. Then, we have 8 divided by 8 is 1 whole. So, meron atayong dalawang whole. Okay? Dalawang buo na. So, nasa ano na tayo? 16 over 8. Okay? So, again, gawa ulit tayo ng isa pang cakes na nakahati sa 8. So, since this is 16 na, okay, 17 over 8, 18 over 8, 19 over 8, 20 over 8, 21 over 8, 22 over 8, and 23 over 8. So, nakarating na tayo sa 23 over 8. So, dito, itong last na cakes na ito, ang na-shade lang or na-slice lang is 7. So, meaning, ang fraction lang dito is 7 over 8. Okay? 7 over 8. So, ano na ang gagawin natin? After natin ma-drawing. Okay? Ayan. So, meaning... 1 whole plus 1 whole is equal to 2. And then, yung fraction na natira sa baba is 7 over 8. So, the answer is 2 and 7, 8. Okay? So, the mixed number of 23 over 8 is 2 and 7 over 8. Okay? So, that is in drawing region. So, gamitin naman natin yung solving or by division. So, dito sa by division, halos ito yung ginagamit natin kesa doon sa drawing. Kasi medyo mahaba siya at kadalasan karamihan ng bata ay nalilito by um, by doing a drawing region. So, mas madali ang by division in changing improper fraction to mixed number. Magdi-divide lang po kayo. So, we have here a steps to follow in changing improper fraction to mixed number. So, first, divide the numerator by denominator and then express the remainder as a fraction. So, this is very easy kasi marunong na kayo mag-divide. Okay? Division lang ang gagawin natin. 
Okay, so let us have the example. Let us study this solution. So, gamitin natin pa rin ang 23 over 8. So, sabi kanina, we are going to divide. So, our dividend, okay, 23 is the numerator and 8 as denominator. So, ang ating dividend dyan is si 23, yung numerator. So, yung numerator ay nasa loob at ang ating divisor is the denominator. Yun yung nasa labas. So, napakadali lang. We are going to divide. Okay? So, 23 divided by 8 is... Okay, so we have 2. Then after that, after natin mag-divide, we are going to multiply. So, multiply natin. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Okay? So, after mag-multiply, we are going to subtract. Okay? So, 23 minus 16 is 7. So, very simple. Okay? So, that is division or dividing. So, since 7 divided by 8 cannot be, so, hindi na tayo magbabaro, hindi na tayo magbibring down. So, pag hindi na kaya, you're going to stop. Okay? When walang idadagdag, walang ibabaro. So, since 7 is the remainder, so, ilalagay na natin siya into mix number. So, paano natin to isusulat into mix number after natin mag-divide? So, alin yung magiging numerator natin? At alin yung magiging whole number? At alin yung magiging denominator? Okay? So, of course, 2 is a whole number. Kasi yun yung sagot. Okay? 2 is a whole number. Yung remainder naman as the numerator, yung sobra, at yung 8 is the denominator. So, ang denominator, kung ano yung denominator dati dito, yun pa rin ang magiging denominator nyo pag chinens nyo siya into mixed number. So, isulat natin siya into mixed number. So, a whole number is 2, numerator is 7, and 8 is denominator. Okay? So, 23 over 8 is equal to, the whole number is 2, the numerator is 7, and the denominator is 8. Okay? Again, ang denominator natin ay ganun pa rin. So, the answer is 2 and 7 over 8. Okay? So, the same lang doon sa sagot sa drawing regions. Another example. Okay, so let us convert or change 37 over 12 into mixed number. So, of course, 37 is numerator, 12 is the denominator. So, ano ang gagawin? We are going to divide. So, ano yung magiging dividend natin? Of course, the numerator, which is 37, the divisor is 12, which is the denominator. So, ayan. Divide na tayo. 37 divided by 12. Ilan? Okay, we have 3. So, after mag-divide, we are going to multiply. So, 3 times 12. Okay, 3 times 12 is 36. So, after mag-multiply, we are going to subtract. So, 37 minus 36 is equal to 1. Okay? So, 1 divided by 12 cannot be na. So, stop na tayo. Hindi na tayo. Pwedeng mag-divide. So, what is the whole number? Okay? So, the whole number is 3. Numerator natin is 1. And again, the denominator is 12. So, the same lang. Yun lagi ang tatandaan. Okay? Tandaan natin, yung sagot is the whole number at yung remainder is the new numerator. So, let us write into a mixed number. So, 37 over 12 is equal to 3 and 1 over 12. Okay? 
So, napakadali lang po mag-change ng improper fraction into mixed number. As long na marunong kayo mag-divide. Tatandaan, ang sagot, that is a whole number. Ang remainder, that is a numerator. And the divisor, or yung dating denominator, that is a denominator. Another example again. Okay, 25 over 10, that is improper fraction. Okay, the numerator is 25, the denominator is 10. Okay, so ano nga yung magiging dividend natin? Of course, the numerator which is 25 and the divisor as the denominator is 10. Ayan, so 25 divided by 10 is 2. Then 2 times 10 is equal to 20. So, subtract tayo. 25 minus 20 is 5. So, 5 divided by 10, hindi na pwede. Okay? So, again, our whole number is 2. Our numerator is 5. So, that is the remainder. And also, our denominator is 10. Okay? So, dati pa rin. Okay, so let us write into a mixed number. Okay, since na nakuha na natin or na-identify na natin ang whole number, ang numerator at denominator, let us write that into a mixed number. Okay, so we have 2 and 5 over 10. Okay, so as you can see class, 2 and 5 over 10 is not yet a final answer because... 5 over 10, meron pa siyang lowest term. Ilo lowest term natin siya. So, kanino natin siya pwedeng i-divide ang 5 and 10? So, as you can see, ang 5 ay pwede natin i-divide kay 5 at yung 10 pwede rin natin i-divide kay 5. Okay? So, meron pa siyang lowest term. So, try natin. Yan. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, meaning, 5 over 10, meron pa siyang lowest term as a 1 half. Okay? So, 25 over 10, the mixed number of that is 2 and 1 half. So, that is the final answer. Okay? And that is a mixed number. Pag change natin, ang 25 over 10 into a mixed number. Next tayo. So, we are done in changing improper fraction into a mixed number. Ngayon, vice versa naman. Mixed number naman into improper fraction. Okay? Okay. So, example, Aling Nena bought 2 and 3 fourth kilogram of beef. How many fourths of a kilogram of beef does she have? So, as we noticed, the problem is asking for the number of fourths of beef Aling Nena bought. So, we have to change 2 and 3 fourth into improper fraction. So, kung nakikita nyo, 2 and 3 fourth is a mixed number. So, paano natin siya i-change into improper fraction? Okay? Yan. Meron tayo again solution number 1, drawing region. So, we are going to use again a drawing to change a mixed number to into improper fraction. So, paano naman kaya? Okay? So, since we have 2 and 3 fourth. Paano natin siya i-drawing? So, meron tayong whole numbers na 2, right? Okay, 2. So, drawing tayo dalawang whole numbers. Dalawang buo. Ayan. Dalawang buo siya. Nandyan yan sa whole numbers. Okay? And then, 3 fourth. Drawing tayo ng 3 fourth. Paano tayo mag-draw ng 3, 3 fourth? So, agan yan. Ayan. Ayan. Yan. So, ito yung 3 fourth. Okay? So, hindi natin siya makukuha kung hindi natin maia-add itong 
tatlo. So, since na our denominator is 4, okay? 4. Meaning, itong dalawang whole numbers, i-divide natin siya into 4. So, ayan. And then, we are going to shade the 4 uh, division para magkaroon tayo ng whole numbers. So, ba Ang isang whole number, ihahati nyo siya sa apat at isi-shade nyo siya lahat. So, buo pa rin siya. So, kailangan lang nating hatiin para makuha natin yung fraction nitong whole number. So, ba Pag whole number, ang fraction niyan ay the same ang numerator at the same ang denominator. So, ayan. Yan. So, apat na divide or hinati ko sa apat at shinade ko sa apat. So, ano ang fraction niya? So, 4. The same lang din itong sa baba. So, ang fraction nila ay 4 over 4. Ito, 4 over 4 din ito. At ito, 3 over 3 fourth na siyang natira. So, yung 4 over 4 is equivalent to 1 whole. Right? So, is equivalent to 1 whole yan. So, the same lang. So, kailangan lang natin hanapin because we are going to add the 3 fraction. Okay? So, since na pare-parehas ang denominator nila, we can add. Okay? Di ba may rules tayo? If the denominator is the same, you can add. Okay? So, again, ia-add natin tong tatlong fraction. So, we have 4 over 4 plus 4 over 4 plus 3 over 4. So, ngayon, pag the same ang denominator, you're going to copy the denominator at yung ang ia-add nyo lamang po ay yung nasa taas, ang numerator. So, since we have 4 plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 11 over 4. So, itong 11 saan galing? At dito yan, 4 plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 11. And then, copy the denominator. Okay? So, yan yung purpose kung bakit ko hinati, hati pa or ginawang fraction yung whole number. And then, pwede na rin bilangin nyo na lamang yung shades. O, bilangin natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, the same lang din. 11 over 4. So, again, kokopihin nyo pa rin yung denominator sa mixed number. The same lang kanina, yung improper fraction. Pag change natin to im, uh, mixed number, you're going to copy the denominator. The same pa rin. So, ayan yung drawing regions. Okay? So, ano naman yung sunod na steps? Or yung solution number 2? Okay. So, dito sa solution number 2, kung doon sa um, improper fraction, change natin into mixed number, nag-divide tayo, dito, we are going to multiply. Okay? So, solution number 2, by multiplying the denominator by the whole number and adding the numerator to the product. So, para lalo nating maintindihan, let us have this example. Okay? So, yan. So, meron tayong 2 and 3 fourth. That is a mixed number. So, we are going to change that into improper fraction. Okay? Sabi doon kanina, you're going to multiply denominator to whole number and add the numerator. Okay? So, let us follow this step. Ayan. So, sinulat ko ng ganyan. 2 and 3, 4. Okay? So, you're going to multiply 4 times 2. This is the denominator and this is a whole number. So, multiply mo itong dalawa and then you're going to add. Okay? Kung anong sagot nitong dalawa, i-add mo sa numerator. So, paano yan? Ganito, sinulat natin. Para hindi tayo malito. Ayan. 
So, 4 times 2 is equal to 8, right? Plus 3, we have 11. Diba? Very simple. Now, 11 is the numerator and copy the same denominator, which is 4. So, again, after mo multiply at ma-add, that is your numerator, which is 11. And copy the denominator. Same lang po ang denominator. Okay? So, 2 and 3 fourth is equal to 11 over 4. So, as you can see, 11 over 4 is improper fraction because numerator is greater than the denominator. Okay? So, napakadali lang. Another example. Let us change 5 and 5 over 8 into improper fraction. So, again, ayan, 5 and 5 over 8. So, multiply natin tong 8 and 5. Then, plus 5. So, isulat natin. Ayan. So, 8 times 5, we have 40. Plus 5, we have 45. Right? So, 45 is the numerator and copy the same denominator, which is 8. So, again, our numerator is 45, and the denominator is 8. The same pa rin. You're going to copy the denominator here. So, 5 and 5 over 8 is equal to 45 over 8. Okay? Very simple. 45 over 8 is improper fraction. Okay, another example. We have 6 and 1 fourth. We have a mixed number. Try natin ulit. Ayan. So, 4 times 6 plus 1. We have... Ayan. So, 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Plus 1 is equal to 25. Ayan. So, 25 is the numerator. And copy the same denominator, which is 4. Okay? So, 6 and 1 4 is equal to 25 over 4. Four. Okay? Very easy. Napakadali. So, malalaman mo, class, kung tama yung sagot mo, pag yung 25 over 4, dinivide mo siya. Ang kalalabasan niyan ay 6 and 1 4. Okay? So, the same lang dun sa mga nauna. Napakadali lang po ng mixed number into improper fraction. Next. Changing fraction to its lowest term. So, dito tayo. So, tapos na natin yung um, improper fraction to mixed number and mixed number to improper fraction. So, paano naman tayo mag lowest term? Or kung paano natin ilo lowest term ang isang fraction? Okay, so we have here a steps. Okay? So, first, you're going to find the GCF. Then, Divide the numerator and denominator by their GCF. So again, you're going to apply the GCF or the greatest common factor. Meaning, kukunin niyo muna yung GCF and then after that, pag nakuha niyo yung GCF, you're going to divide the GCF into numerator and the denominator. So let us have this example. Okay, so let us have this example number 1. Okay, so we have 4 over 8. So 4 over 8 is a proper fraction. So let us have or let us find the lowest term. 
Okay? So, yan. So, 4 and 8. So, since yung nasa step 1, you're going, find, you're going to find first the GCF and then you're going to divide it to numerator and denominator. So, kukunin ko muna yung factor ng 4. Yan ang factor ng 4. 1 times 4 at 2 times 2, right? And then yung factor ng 8. 1 times 8 and then 2 times 4. So, wala na. Then, ilisting ko siya, sinulat ko siya. And then, as well yung sa 8. Ayan. So, ano nga ba yung GCF? Greatest common factor. Pinakamataas na factor ng pareha sila meron. So, as you can see, these are the factors of 4 and 8. So, ano kaya yung factors ng 4 and 8 or GCF? So, we have 4. So, again, 4 is the GCF of 4 over 8. So, since nakuha na natin yung GCF, let us use 4 para maging divisor. Okay? So, gagamitin natin si 4 para i-divide kay 4 over 8. Ayan. So, ayan. So, 4 divided by 4 and 8 divided by 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, the lowest term of 4 over 8 is 1 half. Okay? So, that is the lowest term of 4 over 8, 1 half. Example number 2. Let us find the lowest term of 9 over 12. Okay, again, let us find the factor of 9 and 12. So, the factor of 9 is 1 times 9, 3 times 3. Okay, wala na. And then 12. 1 times 12, 2 times 6. And 3 times 4. Then, let us write it. Ayan, so 1, 3, 9, the factor of 9. And factor of 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Meron pa siyang 12. Okay? Di naman na naisulat. So, meron pa itong 12. Ang factor ng 12. Okay? So, ayan. So, ayan na yung factor. Ngayon, what is the GCF? The greatest common factor of 9. Pipiliin nyo? Okay, so we have 3. So 3 is the GCF of 9 and 12. So let us use 3 as a divisor. Okay? So 9 divided by 3 and 12 divided by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is... 3 and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the lowest term of 9 over 12 is 3 4. Okay? Very simple. Okay, last example in finding the lowest term. So let's say we have 5 over 15. Find the GCF or the factor of 5 and 15. So the factor of 5 is 1 times 5. Wala nang iba. Kasi 5 is a prime number. How about 15? 1 times 15, 3 times 5. Meron pa ba? Wala na. Then isulat natin, 1 and 5. Then 1, 3, 5, and 15. So, as you can see, the GCF of 5 and 15 is 5. Ayan. So, meaning sa 5 natin sila, i-divide. Okay, 5 divided by 5 and 15 divided by 5. So, we have 1 and 3. So, the lowest term of 5 over 15 is 1 third. Okay? So, thank you very much for listening. I hope na may natutunan kayo sa ating lesson for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel para ma-update kayo sa ating next lesson. Thank you. This is Teacher Laila.